Nigerian music artists always have ways of thrilling their audience and every time they do, they keep the internet buzzing. And this time YBNL boss Olamide is keeping the internet buzzing. The rapper and singer recently made Davin Swag into a popular dance swag in Nigeria and now Olamide Badu is bringing something new to his fans again. Badu Snare has been promoting a post he calls Jagaban Pose, which he got from a popular photo of Bola Tinubu. His fans have since started striking the Jagaban Pose on Instagram and over 450 posts have since been shared with the hashtag Jagaban Pose. Kanye West debuted his latest Yeezy collection to an A-list crowd at New York City's Madison Square Garden this February. But unlike previous seasons, front row sitting stars like Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Wintour, a newly blonde Kim Kardashian, supermodel Carly Kloss, and fellow fashion rebel Jaden Smith were treated to some bold colors from the rapper turned designer. For season 3, Kanye injected a few bright hues into his go-to neutral palette, jazzing up shades of nude, brown and black with gasp red yellow and blue but the show was still quite unlike anything anyone has ever seen starting with the out of the ordinary invite and a larger than life venue and finishing with supermodel naomi campbell hitting the stage unlike the clothes of the past season kanye's new designs feature some color beading and pearls <laughs> And on to the Grammys, as hip-hop ruled in the 2016 edition of the Grammys, and that put racial tension back in the national spotlight, where some of the music's biggest stars failed to deliver, or, in this case of Kanye West, failed to show up at all. Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly lost out on the coveted album of the year, but it was his passionate political charge performance of The Blacker, The Barrier, and All Right, featuring chained black men in a prison and African tribal dancers that quickly stole the show. The rapper, who won five Grammys, appeared on the red carpet with his longtime partner and fiancé, Whitney, looking dabber in their outfits. Though Kendrick Lamar didn't win all 11 awards he was nominated for, he did get a few, including the Grammy for Best Rap Album. Ice Cube was the presenter, so he got the distinct privilege of handing Kendrick Duckworth his Grammy to pimp a butterfly. It was a nice moment for the two Compton rappers, one at the twilight of his rap career and the other in his prime. Lamar gave an electrifying performance which ended with a backdrop of a large map of Africa with the name Compton written across it. And that's it on Buzz Alert. Please stay tuned for the rest of the show. Robbery, robbery, robbery.